Hey guys, this is James from Isotropic, and in this video we're going to be talking about the new advanced query feature in Oxygen Builder 3.8. And this is a long-awaited feature by many, and it enables us to create very advanced and dynamic queries in Oxygen without having to hack it together, a very welcome addition. It also comes with a nice and fancy graphical user interface, so if you're somebody who doesn't know how to code, doesn't know your way around PHP very well, but still has the use case for a dynamic or advanced query, this is created specifically for you. I've been using it on many production projects, using the beta and release candidate for 3.8, have a lot of experience with it, really like it, and in this video, it's going to be a basic introduction to what it is, how it works, and how to use it. Quickly before I get into this video, we have a Facebook group called ISO Group. If you go to facebook.com slash groups slash isotropic or follow the first link in the description, you will get there. We have about 600 members, very lively discussions. I really enjoy it. The more people we have, the better the group is. So feel free to come in and join the ISO group on Facebook, linked in the description below. With that being said, let's get into this advanced queries discussion. Oxygen Builder 3.8 introduced a ton of new features, including a native rank math integration, an improved code editor allowing you to choose between different themes, and last but not least, advanced queries. So advanced queries is what we're going to be talking about in this video. It applies to both repeaters and easy posts, and it allows you to build queries using the WP query parameters, which is a core feature of WordPress, and populate dynamic data directly into that. This video is going to show you how that works and various use cases for it, but there are also a bunch of preset queries that I'm going to be talking about in this video. So this is what the interface looks like. Let's first talk about why it was introduced. The reason it was introduced is because this thread right here, use dynamic queries with Oxygen's repeater. And this thread has been around for a really long time. It has a ton of content in it. And as you can see, a lot of people really want dynamic queries for Oxygen. Um, before the advanced queries were introduced, we were stuck using this method, which includes adding a code block before and after the repeater. Before you put a code block, you throw in your repeater dynamic query, and then you create the query like so. And you can see that we can use PHP to dynamically populate various aspects of WordPress into our query. And then we close the query with a code block directly after the repeater, um, closing up the query and allowing us to be dynamic with what we do. The negative aspect of this method is that number one, you need to have a decent understanding of how PHP works as you're directly coding this into a block. There's no graphical user interface and you kind of need to hack it together. This is not a native way to do things. This is not a well-designed way to do things. Putting in two code blocks surrounding the oxygen repeater um, is, is not very useful, not very helpful, especially if you're a user who doesn't know your way around PHP, who doesn't know your way around this type of code, around this type of development. So 3.8 introduced something that does what I believe to be exactly this on the back end, but it does it in a much more pretty way in the builder. So let's take a look at it, let's look at how it works, and then let's talk about some use cases and actually build some queries. So the way it works is in Oxygen Builder, under repeater and easy posts, if you go to the existing query panel, you'll now notice that the advanced query shows up. And by to, to refresh our minds, we have the default WP query. This is used on various archive pages where the query is already present. We also have a custom query where we can select various post types, stuff like that, filter it, order it. And this is building a query yourself using uh, a very laid back interface. Then we can create a manual query, something that's very helpful, but also limited. And finally, we have the new advanced query. With the advanced query, we have a bunch of different presets. We can choose posts by the same post type as the current, all posts except the current, children of the current post, and a couple other ones. This is very important and interesting because each of these is an example of a dynamic query that couldn't be built before without using this method. 
And what I mean by that is that posts of the same post type as current, if we are trying to choose the same post type as current and we've built a template that applies to all different content post types, we need to dynamically figure out what the post type is, populate that into the query, and then query various posts from that. So the post type can change depending on the content type. We need to dynamically get that and put that in. All posts except the current, that's just a simple uh, figure out what the ID of this post is and then exclude it, still dynamic. Children of the current post, related posts by terms. With the related posts by terms, we need to dynamically figure out what the terms are that are associated to this specific post, populate those terms directly into the advanced query, and then query through it. You'll notice that these are a lot of dynamic queries. Uh, there are a lot of examples of why you would want to use dynamic queries in this GitHub, which is linked in this video. And there are also a bunch of different queries online which you can find, this will also be linked in the description. I'm gonna show you how to build this near the end of this video. First, let's take a look at the query interface and then let's take a look at a preset and see how it actually works. All right, so the query interface is very similar to the conditions interface in Oxygen, except you're adding a query parameter instead. So we can choose between essentially all of the query um, elements in PHP, so we can go from author, caching, category, date and time, meta value, which allows us to connect directly to ACF, MIME types, orders, pagination, passwords, permissions, posts and pages, search, tag, and category, or tax taxonomy. With all of this, we just select a various, or, or one of these, and in this situation, I'm just gonna choose a post type we select post type and then we add a value. So if we want a post or if we want a page, we just type that in. And you can see, pretty easy, pretty easy to understand, pretty easy to use. What makes this feature special is that we can use dynamic data within the query in Oxygen. And this is interesting because it uses the same data interface that you are familiar with when it comes to building pages and building templates and populating dynamic data that way. So if we click the data button, we get access to a bunch of different information about the post, the featured image, the author, the current user blog info, archive, and advanced. We'll see that the post ID, post type, and taxonomy terms are already here. We can also build function return values and we can use our custom fields. And if we have advanced custom fields added, we can use advanced custom fields as well. So what that means is that we can then go ahead and build out dynamic queries. So a very quick and brief use case off the top of my head is using the search query within a repeater, maybe off to the sidebar of a post. We can search for maybe a keyword, maybe a tag. So say this has a tag. We can search for the tag of the post dynamically. And what that means is it will take the tag of the post and will insert it dynamically into this query. And then we can search for the tag, whatever the tag is on whatever post it is dynamically and filter it down to pages that contain the same word as the tag under the search feature. That's just a really simple example of a dynamic query. We'll talk more about it in a bit. Now let's take a look at some of the preset dynamic queries to show you how they actually work um, in this situation. So we're gonna choose posts by the author of the current post or archive. In this example, say I am the author of this post and I've posted three other posts. This will just select all of the posts based on my author ID. And we'll take a look at that and how that works here. This is using the advanced query PHP function of author. This is simply querying all posts from the specific author. And then under here, this is dynamically populating the oxygen data PHP function. And the function of that PHP will get the author meta. The arguments will be, we want the ID of this author, so there. And the way that's added is by PHP function return value, and you simply add author meta and then add the function arguments in, inside of that. And that's how you do dynamic queries. That's an example of the dynamic query. The final thing I wanna show you is how to create your own query. And the way I'm going to do that 
and show you, for example, say you're online and you end up on Stack Overflow or another website and you find a PHP query that works perfectly for what you're looking to do, except you have no idea how to integrate it. This makes it really easy to do so. We'll end up here and we'll see that within the arguments of the post type, or within the arguments of the query, we have these elements. And anything within the argument array can be added to this interface. Think about this as everything within args array. So say you found a query that you want. In this situation, it would be this query. We can simply transpose that directly into the advanced query here without having to generate anything special, without having to do anything with a code block. So let's just quickly build this out and see how it works. In this example, it's finding the product post type and then filtering the results between $100 and $200 in terms of the price. This uses the native WooCommerce meta fields, so you can take these uh, and you can take this query if you really want to and incorporate it in your own website. So first, we're going to do post type and then meta query array. Post type is a product. Then we'll add one. We will throw in meta query. And this can be used on very different setups. So any plugin that adds a custom post type or custom fields will use this. Um, WooCommerce uses this, which is what I just described. You can also use this to pull advanced custom fields um, or meta box fields, anything like that. We're going to throw in the array which is what this says. Hop on out. And then we're going to set the key, value, compare, and type. So we have four different components to this array. Key, value, compare, and type. And then we'll just write in what the key is, find the value, compare, so key is price, compares between, type is numeric. And then the value is yet another array. And it's going to be between 100 and 200. And quickly to explain what this just did, we just took this query right here and essentially transposed it into a graphical user interface so we're selecting the post type then we're taking the meta query which is finding fields that aren't native to wordpress in this situation woocommerce adds in a price field and we're pulling any value comparing between any value between 100 and 200. the type is numeric because the value is numeric the key is price so any price that has a numeric value between 100 and 200 will then be pulled into this array, um, meta query, and cross-referenced with the product post type displayed on Oxygen Builder up front. And you can see, you can use this to create very dynamic queries, but you can also use this to just create normal queries in WordPress without having to go to a code block, without having to even understand how it really works. You can simply copy and paste uh, go between different things um, and then build your query out. Then if you had actual products you would click apply query parameters and you would apply them it would then show everything that your query was designed to show. You would save the page and on the front end it would query all the products between 100 and 200. Hopefully this was a very helpful video in terms of giving you a basic introduction on how to use the new advanced query feature in Oxygen Builder 3.8 as you can see, you can use it to just copy and paste various WP Query uh, code snippets that you find on Stack Overflow or online that work for you. You can also use it to create very dynamic queries. Um, I think looking at the presets is a great way to understand how the dynamic queries work in the Oxygen Builder. And you can also take a look at this for information or inspiration on how to create dynamic queries and what dynamic queries would actually be helpful for you and your situation.
Hopefully this was a helpful video. If it was, feel free to subscribe. I do a lot of Oxygen Builder content on YouTube, as well as on our agency blog, isotropic.co slash blog. We have a Facebook group. Join the Facebook group. It's linked in the description below. And until next time, I won't see you next time. I will.